Um, where were we? Uh, I mean, I, I, I was... Uh, no, I, I did have a lot of offers, quite a few offers, but I, the, most of them were run-of-the-mill stuff. I, you don't expect me to sort of, you know, run after a woman around a tree <laughs> and sing a love song <laughs> like that. Um, I love that beautiful people. Sort of, sure or, or maybe sort of go down on my knees and sort of um, <laughs> pluck a rose out of a plant. Uh, maybe a plastic rose because they, they can't afford a genuine one. So, and said, this is for you, love. But so, Gurin, uh, were, were you, uh, you know, uh, apart from uh, being a senior actor, I mean, I was always consider you as a friend, but I, I want you to uh, tell me, were you disillusioned by commercial Bengali cinema? Did, did you, or were you disillusioned with the no entire... There's no question of being disillusioned because I've never been part of commercial cinema to begin with. Okay, but... So how can I be disillusioned? So is that one of the reasons that, uh, what, uh, that you, you know, stayed away from the usual roles that were coming up in your way? No, you see, initial, uh, my initial rejection of the office must have spread the word around that this guy is not available. Ah. So, um, so nobody touched me. I know. Um, much, much later, uh, there would be some people uh, whose liking of me, I think again, stemmed from that I was a Ray character, a Ray actor. Actually, Onjun did say this. You mean Onjun Doctor? Onjun Doctor. Okay. He did actually say so that, you know, I, I have always wanted to uh, make films and telefilms with um, Ray actors. Ah, okay. uh, so, um, there you are. Okay, now I'm, I was coming back to something else. You know, uh, your tryst with advertising began where and uh, how? Oh, I've, I've, I've always... Apparently you've been a I've, teacher I've, as well. You've taught. Yes, I've also taught, taught, taught English English? First. Where? Yes, in a co-educational college. Um, so all your students <laughs> must be swooning over you, the girl students primarily. I, I wouldn't know about that. You wouldn't I, know about that? No, no. <laughs> That's being too um, modest for us. But I, I taught actually for two years. Okay. And um, I, I taught uh, at a co-educational college in the evening. Mm -hmm. So the average age was about, what, 35? And I was all of 22. I had just oh done my, my master's <laughs> in English and had joined the college. So. Lovely. And so after that, how did, it, how did you, uh, you know, kind of come to advertising? Oh, I have, in, in, uh, this was from 62 to 64, I mm -hmm. worked as, as a lecturer. Mm -hmm. I actually call my experience because um, it, it was one of those colleges which had what? In the evening section, which was co-educational, you could have, uh, in, the, in the graduation classes, you could have 250, 260 students. So the roll call took up about 10 minutes. Okay. And um, you, you never thought anything thereafter, after the roll call, because you were totally exhausted thereafter. Oh, my God. So, um, no, but I, I learned labor welfare. You I, 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 I knew, <laughs> I, I learned how to control an uncontrollable crowd. Oh, God, uncontrollable crowd? Yes. Like uh, what? what we, some of them were really unmanageable. Um, like, for instance, there was one day I was teaching, and... Um, there was suddenly a <laughs> So, um, <laughs> no, it was a baby crying. No, it was a baby crying. An infant baby crying. Infant baby. So, and I kept quiet and just said, and second time it happened, uh, the, 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 the format was inevitably like this. The, the first two rows were occupied by the girls. Okay. And the, the, the balanced rows were occupied by the boys. Okay. So I looked up at one of these comely girls mm -hmm. and said that, would you go and tend to this little infant that's lying uh, in, in the backdrop? <laughs> and, did you uh, actually say that? I, I did, I did, okay. and, and quite seriously. Well, what happened after that? Quite dramatically, I said that. Will you do that? I mean, it's, it's crying out, please help. <laughs> and it, it stopped promptly. It stopped promptly and I, told them a few anecdotes. They said, listen, don't try your, your funny stuff with me because <laughs> I am made of sterner stuff. Oh my I'm God. I'm made of sterner stuff. So I told them a couple of stories which I had sort of, you know, inflicted upon my teachers, which was a damned <laughs> terrible thing to do. When I sort of, you know, look back 
uh, I, I did uh, un, un, unimaginable things to my teachers, <laughs> especially in St. Xavier's, to a Bengali teacher. What did you do? I, no, he came at the class and um, we, his ceiling fan, and there was this table, and there's always this huge marker um, stick. So we had the, the stick um, sticking out up to the ceiling fan, okay. and the, the bottom part was on the table. Mm -hmm. And as soon as he entered, um, I would wink at someone, and, uh, and he would switch the fan on, <laughs> and suddenly it would sort of, um, it would just go brown like that. <laughs> and um, this, this man sort of, you know, <laughs> sat up. What happened? I'm, I'm so sorry. Hey, kick, kick. Who's, who's done this? It's a terrible thing to do. Sorry, sir, very sorry. So I picked up this stick and said, this is yours. And, and um, then he used to say, um, uh, Mr. Swenso, um, if you wish to stay in the class and behave, you may stay. Otherwise, you've got your um, uh, attendance, you may leave. <laughs> so this carried on. At the end of it, I stood up after the entire roll call was over. I said, yes. He looked up at me and said, what, what's the problem with you, young man? He said, no, it's, it's my ball pen, sir, oh, wow. you're using. I'm leaving, actually. I had to wait for the ball pen. So, when I think of these things, I, I'm, I'm really ashamed of myself, ashamed of myself. But I did narrate those stories to them. Okay. And he said, you are a puppy. Compared to what I did, you are a puppy stuff. You know, don't, don't try them with me. I'm sure. Morin, before we actually go for our uh, you know, session of coffee, and my beautiful people will wait till we come back, I just want to ask you something very, very, very important for all of us to know. What drew you to advertising? <laughs> As light draws the fly, I suppose. Ah, OK. So we, 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 uh, uh, we come back with the light and the fire sitting next, ne right next to me. And till then, you have a gala time. I'm going to be back very soon with Borin Chando for you. Mwah.